guys. I was gonna wait to start this vlog, but I feel like I have to start it right now because it's like 10 in the morning and we are just truly going to Nashville right now to see Harry Styles, sponsored by Margaritaville. We are staying at the Margaritaville Hotel. This trip is literally sponsored by Jimmy Buffett. Thank you, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> we literally could not have done this without you. All right, you're probably not gonna be able to hear me that much right now and they're, I think they're playing Nick Jonas, so I just had to check in right now and say, here we go. Thank you, Jimmy Buffett. This one's for you. We're on our way. We will talk more soon. <laughs> Oh my god, we're fully the only people here under the age of 65. <laughs> like, what did we say? We just we love Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. He's so like, my grandparents listen to Jimmy Buffett. And so do I. <laughs> okay, here's the big moment. Here it is, baby. Oh god. Wait, why is he so nice? I feel like I'm at a literal beach resort and I look out my window, what do I see? Sleeps. Oh my god. We are fully at the Margaritaville Hotel in Nashville with our free drinks. This is the most ridiculous brand deal I've ever had in my entire life, but I am pumped, baby. Like, oh my god. You have to be kidding. <laughs> you have to be kidding. Hold on, let me just move my margarita. Oh, fuck yeah. So no one's going to be shocked by this, but I lost one of the SD cards from this video. I have no fucking clue where it went, but luckily I didn't lose much. All I really lost is me explaining what the fuck we're doing next. So two days before this trip started, Justin Timberlake had announced that he is opening a restaurant in Nashville the day that I fucking land there. The timing of shit in my life is just absolutely unreal. So you know the second I saw that announcement, I made a goddamn reservation that night. And I guess the weekend before that, they had like a soft opening of the restaurant, but it was like pretty quiet and low key. And there was a couple guest performers there. I think Kid Rock had performed there. So after hearing that, I naturally had every reason to believe that on the opening night of the restaurant, Justin Timberlake was going to show up. And no one was going to convince me otherwise about that. And that is what you're going to see here. Waiter, if Justin Timberlake was coming out onto that stage anytime soon, and he said he should be here, but he does not know. He said he was in charge of the music, and there's no music right now. And as you can see, like Sydney no. said, there's no music right now. He was so sus. No, I think he just doesn't have a fucking clue what's going on. It's your first. Yes, I don't. I mean, I'm pretty really optimistic. I think I think that he would have been like, well. But he was like, there should have been something tonight because it's the first night. But there is I nothing. I took it the other way. I might be an optimist, but he was fully alluding to the fact that something is going to happen. It's opening night. We're in downtown Nashville on Broadway at Justin Timberlake's new fucking restaurant. And you think there's not going to be one fucking musical artist on this fucking stage? <laughs> I tried to, but no one is in front of us yet. It's 9.30. Okay. I drink approximately one bottle of pineapple. <laughs> and Justin Timberlake's gonna come out now. Ready? One, two, three. Oh! Why is someone checking the microphone? <laughs> Fucking cover man. He's carrying out the spot. Hear me out. Hear me out. No, wait, no. Get back You're here. So Get over here. Show me your better he knows something we don't. I think he's a compulsive liar. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know you better than this, and I know your life better than this. Justin never like is coming out. No, he's not. Justin, I have to take the L. <laughs> what are you looking for? <laughs> something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> like Sydney, get up. It smells like mint. Yeah. You're dying, baby. Oh, okay. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. There you go. I'm going to jail. <laughs> Chantel. 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 I said, guess where I'm going. And they said, jail. They're fucking right. They're fucking yeah, they right. Look, there's, there's your ride. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, why are you tired of me? Because I, I fell into a bush. I made out with a 
boy. He was kind of cute, but I did it on purpose. I don't know why you did that. That made absolutely no sense to me. I don't know about that. No, we're busy. We're vlogging. Respect to you, but I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> I had a great time. The guy that was with us all night was actually very nice, incredibly respectful. Just walked us to our hotel, basically. We have a fallen soldier. Who's our fallen soldier? Not the scooter. You're not talking about the scooter. I know you're not talking about the scooter. Rest in peace. We have to make it back to Margaritaville. Oh my god. Margaritaville's never been so fucking far away. Bro. <laughs> no, this is not real. This shit said 0.4 miles on a map. I think it meant 4.0 <laughs> miles. Sydney, I'm running to a bush. We have got to go to bed. We have to go to bed. Oh, this so flop. Oh my god. Can anyone help me? With what? A golf cart. What? You don't need a golf cart. Oh, my knees were going in. I you did not just press 7, 8, okay, 9, yes. 9, 4. Because we needed to go brood there before we got to her room. Kaylin, I made out with someone for your fucking vlog, bro. I saw you press record, so I knew you wanted me to make out with him. Yeah? So I made out with him. And it was fun. It was fun. I have no regrets. <laughs> Right, yeah, you're the so only. Oh my god, it looks like people are in here. Oh, yep, it was just us. I actually can't fucking do this. The scoreboard right now is genuinely Nashville 1, me 0. Guys, my ass was fucking kicked last night. I am so hungover right now for absolutely no reason. It's 1 o'clock and I'm only just getting up now to get ready and like go out and do things. But I wanted to be up much earlier than this. But we are so hungover. Sydney's coming back right now from going to somehow get lunch with her brother. But I drank so much like sugary bullshit last night that I'm so hungover right now. And it's like fucking hell. I've had so much etc. and so much liquid IV. And this pounding headache will not go. Away. I feel like I got smacked in the head with a hammer. I can't fucking recover. I literally can't do it. Like Nashville has kicked my ass. I don't even know how I'm supposed to get ready now for like this douchebag. How am I supposed to do this? The bars last night were not as popping as I was hoping they were gonna be. I mean, yes, it was like a random Tuesday night, but it's fucking Nashville. Come on. I mean, we still had fun. And then also when we were about to come back and go to bed, I ran into some of you guys and then we went out and got drinks for like two more hours, which is actually like so much fun. So shout out to you ladies. You know who you are. I can't remember if I told you or not, but after one of you guys bought me a drink, I did go straight to the bathroom and I fucking threw up everything that has ever, ever entered my body in the past 21 years of my life. Well, almost 22. Which also never happens to me. I never throw up when I drink, so I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm gonna pull it together and get ready right now. I can't even mentally prepare for like what I am seeing tonight. I'm trying not even to think about it because I'm going to get overwhelmed and I'm going to freak out if I think about it too much, so I'm just not. I'm just telling myself that I'm on like a national trip and I'm at the Margaritaville Hotel for no reason. Because it sounds like something I would do. I'm going to continue on with my day and push past also my hurt of not meeting Justin Timberlake last night when I was fully convinced that he was going to come out and our waiter was just fucking with us the whole entire time. Oh my god, I'm so mad at Justin Timberlake. Justin, if you're watching this, I hate you. I don't actually, but I'm definitely mad. Anyways, I need to go downstairs, I need to get a margarita, I need to get an oversized margaritaville shirt, and I think I have to go to Harry like that. Like, no one would expect that from me. Wouldn't that be, like, fun and quirky? I don't know. I, okay, I'm gonna get ready now. Wait, guys, this morning we woke up to this mysterious stain. <laughs> hot sauce out of, what did we eat with hot sauce? I don't know. Think about it. Think I, about don't it. I don't like hot sauce. <laughs> do I, but we didn't eat anything. <laughs> what is this? Why does it look like a stingray? If it's a theme. <laughs> Why are you kissing it? It's hot sauce. That's a stingray. I, that's what killed Steve Irwin. How dare he? <laughs> I'm literally trying to wrap my mind around this. Guys, we don't know where this came from and we just have like food all over the ground. <laughs> Shit strips <laughs> everywhere. Okay, so I think what happened is I think I knocked my computer over onto the ground last night and I must have launched hot sauce in this general direction. <laughs> think about the trajectory. You had to like hit it and it did a flip. Like, <laughs> and it went flip right there. This is what it even makes sense. We just started randomly yelling about Sauce. I made the joke at the table that you weren't getting your security deposit back. Okay, I'm getting my security. Did I even have a security deposit? Yes, I did. I don't know. Is this an incidental? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an incidental. What qualifies as an incidental? <laughs> we call them. Yeah. Hot sauce on the bed or the rug? Oh shit, it's on the rug too. Fuck but man. That's brown. Well, I think it's just what that looks like on the color blue. <laughs> What did we eat with hot sauce? I don't know. Why do you have a margarita right now? I was just telling them about how hungover we are. And he walked back because in with a fucking margarita. The only way to drink all day is if you start when you wake up. God fucking damn and it. And I came here with very strict intentions. <laughs> and I will fall through. I found it. I found the culprit. I moved my shoe one inch. It's honey mustard. <laughs> Not the honey mustard. Is this an incident? Are we an incident? <laughs> no. Wait. The incident. Oh my god. <laughs> there has been an incident in this room. Shut <laughs> <Chantel. laughs> <Chantel. laughs> 
out. Wait, guys. So that guy that we were walking around with last night randomly texted me this video at two in the morning. Chantel. For some reason, it is the funniest thing in the entire world to me. Like, I just don't get it. I don't know why he said it like that. Chantel. <laughs> Who was that guy and why did I give him my number? And why was I under the impression that he was the best this guy ever? This is the second time this week that we woke up and had the same guy's number. <laughs> and they text us the same thing. But like, are we making friends? Is it like a business deal? The guy's email from last week. Oh yeah, the Pitbull concert. We literally got the bartender's email. Like, what am I gonna do with that? And you said help us with something. What was it though? I didn't say that at all. <laughs> Caitlin, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Can you say this as if it's like we're like hiding a body. Like all we have to do is simply wipe up the honey muster. <laughs> they don't even have toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. That's another incident. We have to take care of that. Where did you get a tiara? <laughs> Dude, it's the divorced one. I didn't even wear my sash last night. Oh, I didn't know it came with <laughs> Oh, it came with a tiara. Please wear this very concerned. The way that it would match my outfit. Oh, not the divorce tiara going in the honey mustard. I'm oh the my god. I am incidental. Chantel. Chantel. <laughs> Guys, this outfit is kind of fucking iconic. I am. Oh, who is this? Oh god. Don't tell me this is the random guy from last night. Oh my god, he just texted me and showed me that he saved my contact in his phone as Caitlyn Chantel. Well, that's absolutely ridiculous, but we are ready to go. It's like 3 45. We need to go to the Margaritaville bar upstairs because we still haven't been there. So we're gonna go fuck around there. I'm really fucking nervous, but to calm my nerves, I'm gonna go get drunk. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go flirt with men. Maybe this guy. I don't know. Not my brother, please. Okay, I will leave your brother out of it. Or will I? Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Okay, um, let's go. That guy her fucking Dude, number. I had to. I no, had you did to. not. You absolutely did not have to. Under do? no okay. circumstances did you have to do that. I, I think I even memorized the number to like McDonald's or something and start giving that out because you have been giving everyone a fucking number. Bring, oh, this is very nice. I, I miss the guys at the bar. Oh, me too. I have to talk to them later. Yeah, you know, we just got so many free drinks from a ton of random men at the bar and they were actually like really fun. Like, they're being deployed. What? Why? They're going to Iraq. Wait, really? Yeah. Fuck, dude. One of the guys was talking to me. He said something about Iraq while I was texting another guy. I was like half listening and I said to him, Oh, that's so cool. Because I thought he was saying he was going on a trip to visit Iraq. Who goes to Iraq for fun, Caitlin? Open the fucking door. Oh my god. Oh, oh wow, that's so cool. And he looks at me and he goes, That's actually not cool at all. Oh my god. He goes, That's not like fun or cool in the slightest. And I go, Oh, okay. And then I just like kept texting my friend. Fuck You told him it was cool. He was going to Iraq. Oh my god, I have to pee right now. This is so embarrassing. Oh my god. Why didn't he tell me he was getting de deported? Then he didn't say he's getting deported. They're getting deployed. And you said it. Not guys, Caitlin, the show starts in 30 minutes. I'm like, guys, I get it. I don't think you understand the fact that I can't comprehend the fact that I have to see Harry with my own fucking eyes tonight. What am I supposed to do about that? I have to block that out mentally by going around all of Nashville and drinking and pretending that I'm not seeing him because I can't comprehend seeing a One Direction member right now, okay? Okay. I'm about to turn 22 and I'm still in love with the same man I've been in love with since I was fucking 11. Like, what am I supposed to do with this information? I know y'all feel me. I know you get it. Like, what, what am I supposed to do?
Sir, if you enjoy the ice down as much fun as you possibly can. If you want to sing with you or dance, please feel free to do whatever it is you want to do it. Please feel free to be whoever it is you want to be this week tonight. Let's go! Hi Mike. Hello. Mike. Yes. <laughs> We're at Bridgestone. Can you hear the crowd? I have your uh, have your baby's gender. This is all very exciting. Sorry? Would you read that? Yeah, I'll get to it, Mike. Mike, are you comfortable with this? <laughs> He's comfortable, that's me. It's a blank piece of paper. <laughs> I know everything, and you don't. Okay, we're gonna do another song! Oh, you're still there, Mike. Okay. A little baby girl. blacked out after the concert. I barely remember leaving the show, I'll be completely honest, but I do know bits and pieces of what ended up happening that night, so let me just explain that. So the day before the show, I saw on Instagram that Cody and Kelsey were in Nashville for something, so I had texted Kelsey and I was like, uh, what the fuck, like we need to go out and do something in Nashville together because we'd been trying to make plans together for a while and it had just never worked out and now we're both in Nashville, what the fuck. We have to enjoy Smashville together. Towards the end of the show, she texted me and told me that she and Cody were going to Whiskey Row and I was like, oh, 
set done i will be there after the show so after the show when i was already pretty blacked out me and sydney went and we met them there and the rest will be explained from here on out in this video but oh my god the videos and pictures that i woke up to the next morning in my camera roll speak for itself but now i'm going to speak for myself and tell you what the fuck happened so here we go guys i just woke up in my outfit from last night i'm not in it anymore i've simply changed but i just woke up with my outfit on one glove on all my makeup on and that never happens i always go to bed taking my makeup off but i was so drunk that i fell asleep with my fucking makeup on and my entire outfit guys i don't know where to go from here where do i go from here sydney i'm so drunk right now sydney i have to listen to the thriller i like actually cannot go to the airport now i need water so bad where do i get water i blacked out i blacked out okay oh i have to go i have to go home there's no way that i did anything that i did last night i need to look at my camera roll i'm fighting for air i'm fighting for my life <gasps> that gasp is never good no <laughs> no <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. Actually, contrary to popular belief, I thought I didn't black out. Oh my god, I blacked out. Ugh. No, we blacked out. Oh my god, we blacked out. Oh, breaking news, we have just discovered that we blacked out. First of all, my hands smell like hot dogs. <laughs> what is that video of me? Oh Wait, my- There's more. I have to keep going. Why am I sitting in the corner by myself? The sexual tension between us and the security guard. Kelsey! No, no, no. Sydney! I just woke up to my camera roll of a photo shoot with the hot dog. Smell my hands. <laughs> No, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. A reek of hot dogs. When did we get pizza? <laughs> Sydney. Is pizza in there? Oh, no way. Bro, bro, it's Christmas. No, like, it's Christmas. No, like, the pieces. No, like, Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. Merry pieces. Christmas. The pieces of crust are throwing me off because <laughs> where and when did we get this? Where did this come from? Kaylin. Sydney, when did we order pizza and who successfully picked it up from the lobby? There's no way in fuck I walked down there. I am definitely the culprit of the crust. <laughs> because I don't eat crust. <laughs> <laughs> and I definitely did that. Oh my god, guys, I have to have pizza right now. Oh my god. 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 Bro, tears. So I'm still drunk and I just went to the store downstairs and I feel like I have to do a haul of everything I've just bought. This literally cannot be fucking real. It is eight in the morning. I also just ran into the marketing manager that hooked us up with this and I had to introduce myself drunk right now. She literally goes, how was the show last night? And I go, I don't know. I literally like only remember half of it. And she was like, that's the way it should be. I'm like, yep, sure should be. First off, I'd like to present you with this water. I bought you a water. Oh, you're so kind. Second, I'd like to present you with this octopus that I bought. Why do you have a fucking octopus. I have no fucking clue. We've rented you in a few days and you bought a fucking octopus? <laughs> no, it literally only gets worse. Like, this is not the most chaotic thing that I bought. I don't know why I bought this. I was literally checking out and he was about to, like, take my card to pay. And last minute I go, I have to have this. I don't know why. I bought a shirt, obviously. This is the more normal thing that I bought. It's fun. I think it's great. I think I will look great in this with my cowboy boots. I should have worn this last night. And last but not least, you're not going to believe this. This was only $38, so I had to buy it. The fuck do you mean it was only $38? Sydney. Caitlin, what is it? Sydney. Caitlin, this little fucking robe. Holy fuck, I am going home. <laughs> Sydney, I had to have this. I had to have this. You can't tell me that I didn't need this. It is a Margaritaville robe. It was only $38. Why is this only $38? This should be like $83. Do you just say 38 backwards? Yeah, because it should be that much. I own a Margaritaville robe now. That is such a fucking flex. Imagine me, me in this. I have to put it on. No, guys, everything was actually such a steal. I didn't steal it, but like it was a great deal. I have to pack. Okay, so <laughs> basically after that, I stopped recording for a second until Sydney made the shocking discovery that she had a new friend on Snap chat you're gonna see here us explain what he told us so here's this there's no way Caitlin, the police tried to <laughs> escort us out of the bar last night i don't remember this well i don't either <laughs> tried to kick us out the bouncer literally just snapped me and said that the bouncer just snapped you yes because when we got there i was like okay whiskey Row is my favorite bar i've been there twice i've been kicked out twice oh my god and so i specifically <laughs> told the bouncer that i cannot get kicked out tonight did they kick people out easily or are we just fucking dumb last time i fully fell down three flights of stairs wait last night <laughs> Last time I was there, I fully fell down three flights of stairs and they kicked me out. I deserve that. When I went in, I was like, I can't get kicked out tonight. And he said, if you don't want to get kicked out, add me on Snapchat. So I added him on Snapchat. Oh my God. And I still almost got kicked out. You're telling me that Cody and Kelsey watched us almost get kicked out of the fucking bar? They might have been coming <laughs> <laughs> For 
all I know, they were right there with us. <laughs> From then on, you can imagine that I started having incredible anxiety because I was like, what did I do? What did Cody and Kelsey witness me do? The bouncer said no. something about them well, too, right? I love that bar and I did not want to get kicked out and he said the only way to assure that I don't get kicked out is if I add him on Snapchat, which seems like a pretty reasonable request. But he sent me in the morning and he was like, so your friend almost went to jail. And I'm like, which one? <laughs> It had There's to be that three. one. It had to be that one. Ding, ding, ding. He held up his promise because I added him on Snapchat. So he like talked to the cop and was like, no, she's good. But then, yes, I... no, 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 I was not. But we have to thank Cody because the bouncer said that our guy friend <laughs> saved the day. <laughs> and got us out of the bar before the cop did. Yes, we did end up exiting the bar, I guess, with Cody and Kelsey, and then that's where the infamous- I don't know if it's like exiting or we were escorted. We were forced, and that's when the infamous hot dog photo shoot happened that we woke up to in our camera roll. But then Kelsey and I were talking about our wild night. She ended up revealing to me. She said, we actually went into full parent mode for you. Fuck my life. And she goes, I made sure you made it down the store- the store? I made it to the Margaritaville store. I made sure that you made it down the stairs while Cody sent that weird guy away and also fed you the hot dog. As you can imagine, I had no idea what she was talking about and I was like, weird guy away from me. I don't remember much men, but then you have that video of me dancing blacked out with the cowboy. <laughs> But then there's also that guy who DM'd you about the lemon drop shot. Yes, so Kelsey goes, we all had so much fun, like we were all so drunk and we were having a blast, blah, blah, blah. And then I asked her if it was the guy in the cowboy hat from that video that was being a creep to me. And then she goes, no, it was the guy with the baseball cap who was giving us all lemon drops. And I go, wait, I don't remember that. And then I checked my fucking DMs and I have a DM from this guy who is wearing a baseball cap in his icon. And I posted something about me blacking out with a picture of the hot dog. He goes, I may have contributed to this blackout with the lemon drop shots, so I'll take the blame if you want. The guy somehow fucking found me and then fessed up to the crime that he has committed, aka being the reason that I blacked out and almost went to jail in Nashville. And I'm then just I picturing the cop escorting you out in that outfit. I almost got a mugshot in this outfit. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? That would have been pretty fucking with sick. With a metallic glove. With probably one glove on at that point, because what the literal fuck? I have to go back. A few weeks later, we ran into Cody and Kelsey at the Jonas Brothers show in LA, and we were all just talking about like how hilarious that night was. Then I asked them about the pizza. That pizza that we found didn't come from either of them, and neither of us had ordered pizza on like our DoorDash or Postmates or anything, so the mystery of where the fuck that pizza came from is still um We stole it from someone. We must have. Another reason to go to jail. <laughs> There is one too many reasons for us to have mug shots right now. I cannot believe I don't have one of myself framed in my room right now. So that's that. That's fucking that. I guess we'll just continue from here on. I just had to um, fill you in on those incredible details. <laughs> no guys, I have to leave Nashville, but I also can't because I just went downstairs and went to the gift shop, as you guys know, and the marketing director said I can come back here whenever I want. I, I should not be allowed this much power in life, guys. Yeah. I can come back next month. <laughs> we should spend Thanksgiving in Nashville. I have to go to the airport right now. I simply have to go to the airport. Yeah, I, I literally have to get up. I need to leave. I'm going to miss my flight. Guys, we're leaving Margaritaville right now. <laughs> she looks like she's gonna rob a bank. I don't care. I I have to die. <laughs> no, you don't. Let it just wear it. Living. Living. No. <laughs> <laughs>